Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. This chapter shows you how to create a table of authorities for legal documents in Microsoft Word. A table of authorities lists the specific references cited in a legal document and the accompanying page numbers. It is like a legal bibliography. As when creating a table of contents or a bibliography in Word, you must first mark the citations in your legal document before compiling your table of authorities. When you mark a legal citation, Word inserts a hidden TA or Table of Authorities entry field in your document next to the cited text. You can then search for the next long or short citation in the document to mark, or you can automatically mark each of the following occurrences of the citation in the document. After marking all the citations in a legal document, you can then compile its Table of Authorities in Word. When you do this, Word automatically creates a Table of Authorities that lists all the citations organized by category, like cases, and displays their associated page number. To mark citations in a legal document in Word, select the first instance of the text to mark as the long form of the citation in the Table of Authorities. Then click the Mark Citation button that appears in the Table of Authorities button group on the References tab of the ribbon to open the Mark Citation dialog box. Alternatively, press the keyboard shortcut of Alt plus Shift plus I on your keyboard to open the Mark Citation dialog box. In the Mark Citation dialog box, you can edit the long citation as you want it to appear in the Table of Authorities by changing the text in the Selected Text field if needed. To format the text if desired, right-click the text in this field. Then select the Font command from the pop-up menu that appears to open the Font dialog box where you can change the formatting. If you change the font, then click the OK button to save your changes and return to the Mark Citation dialog box. Next, select the desired category for the citation from the Category drop-down. If the citation category you want to use is unavailable, you can click the Category button to open the Edit Category dialog box. In this dialog box, you can select a category to replace from the listing shown. Then enter the desired replacement category into the Replace With field. Then click the OK button when finished. After that, edit the text in the Short Citation field to match the short citation for which you want Word to search within the remainder of the legal document. To mark only the selected citation, click the Mark button. To then search for the next citation, click the Next Citation button and repeat the process. Alternatively, to mark the selected citation and all the long and short citations in the remainder of the document that match the entries in the selected text and short citation fields, click the Mark All button instead. To mark all the additional entries, if you later add additional citations for this matter to the document, select the Original Citation, open the Mark Citation dialog box again, and then click the Mark All button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.